The following video is brought to you by Yellow Jacket. Nearly 70 years of quality HVAC tools. Hey guys, I'm back over here on another train. A 2TTZ9048. Basically, it's a it's a dual dual compressor. You can see you got your low speed compressor contactor and your high speed compressor contactor. But what I want to go over with you guys in this video, I'm learning a lot of things about the train high stage equipment. I didn't work on a lot of train high stage equipment back in Alexandria. But now that I'm working for a large train dealer, there's a lot of high stage equipment that out here that, that they have out here, and I'm learning new things about it. You're you never too old to learn something new or never have enough ex or never have so much experience that you can't learn anything. So one thing that I learned today is, is that, which I knew, that, you know, I knew that the motor was ECM and there's the plug for it right there. Okay, so as we know with ECM motors like your X13, 240 volts is always present and the motor starts on 24 volts. Well, I thought the same thing. I was, I was getting 240 to the motor. It was present, but I wasn't getting 24. So I thought we had a bad board because the motor gets its, its uh, low voltage right here on this plug. But before I did anything, I said, let me call tech support since I'm not familiar. So I called the tech support guy, I have his number. And he told me that this is not like an X13 blower, that this, these two wires, you can see where I made a little slit because he wanted me to check it with the, with the plug off and then with the plug in, he said, just make you a slit in your wires and check it. And he told me that that is DC voltage and we should have between, I think, I think he said, I think he said 12, 12 to 18 volts DC or I don't know. I wrote it down in, uh, in my notebook in the truck, but you can see that I have my meter set on DC volts. And if we go on this, these slits that I made, if I can do this with one hand, okay, I can't do it with one hand guys, but um, I keep, I keep bouncing off of it but anyway my 12 volts DC is present it, so he told me it's a bad fan motor so I just thought that might help somebody out that if you have your 240 your 240 should always be present it's not 24 volts like a blower motor it's DC voltage so uh, you know you're never you can never learn enough and like I said, I'm learning a lot about these uh, high stage trains. So, I mean, they're not hard to work on at all, but I just wanted to verify my troubleshooting because I didn't want to misdiagnose this system and I'm glad I did. So, don't be afraid to ask for help. All right guys, and there's the system all put back together. Operational. All right, well, guys, hopefully that'll help one of you one day if you ever run into a XL19i or an XL20i is the same way. Actually, any train, whether it be, if it's any, any train with that ECM motor, condenser, fan motor, same way, doesn't matter if it's an XL 16i, 17i, 18i, 19i, 20i, doesn't matter. All right guys, thank y'all for watching. We'll see y'all on the next one.